Are normal saline and lactated ringers really that bad for massive bleeds? Well, let me show you. Pretend this is your blood vessel here, and then you see this fruit loops here. Those are going to be your red blood cells. And then you have your plasma, which is the milk. Now, in a massive trauma, we don't have the ability to choose what goes and what stays. So we see, lose equal parts red blood cells, and we lose equal parts fluid. That's kind of the problem. And so we end up with low amounts of plasma and red blood cells, okay? But the same concentration. Nothing changes with the concentration because we lose them equally. And so what we do in order to maintain blood pressure is we go, okay, well, you know what? Let's add some water in there, okay? Let's add some water in there. And all that does, as you can see, is it just spreads apart our red blood cells. So now we've completely changed the concentration of the blood, meaning that the red blood cells, there's now they're now spaced more apart, meaning that their ability to perfuse is diminished. So what we really need to be doing, instead of just adding water, is that we need to find a way to add red blood cells. We need to find a way to add blood. And so that's really what the goal should be, not just to add water to improve blood pressure. This is what we need to do and why fluids are, are not a great choice in massive trauma. Thousands are raving about our best-selling 100 Patients Scenario book. And so we started creating the expansion books to go along with it, including the cardiac arrest scenarios, we have the airway scenarios, pediatric scenarios, and the MCI scenarios. And you can get this entire bundle at the link in our bio.